just don't know. I just don't know. Oceans are, I would say, a hundred years behind the land in terms of conservation. As an American, I would say the oceans still need their Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt established the system of national parks in the United States, Yellowstone and Yosemite, the other great parks. The first marine protected area in the world was created only in the year 1975 in La Jolla Cove. And only a tiny, tiny fraction of the world's oceans really have protection now, and almost none of the open ocean has protection. The Census of Marine Life is a decade-long research program, started in the year 2000. It will culminate in the year 2010 to assess and explain the diversity, distribution, and abundance of marine life. We had two motives. One motive was discovery. Most of the ocean is still unexplored. And the second is anxiety about uh, changes and troubles for life in the oceans. First, we hope the census will just be a book about nature. It's like a field guide to the oceans, the best ever created, that uh, uh, tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of people around the world will use to increase their appreciation of life in the oceans. But then, of course, we also help that, hope that the census of marine life will be helpful for improving management of marine resources and marine conservation. For example, the census will identify areas of the ocean that are biological hotspots where, there's, where there are very high levels of biodiversity, uh, high levels of animals that are unique to particular environments, and of course we hope that uh, those areas might uh, benefit from increased conservation. Increased conservation. I'm excited that the age of discovery is not over. I, I think uh, uh, there's a tendency to believe somehow that everything is known in any walk of life, in, whether it's in science or in cooking. Uh, and it really turns out that uh, just this, there's so much still to discover, uh, so much that's extremely beautiful. The beauty of the, the animals is, is just, uh, it's just immense and incredible. Uh, and the different ways they make a living when you see the, the, the forms they take. We really can now uh, develop and institute uh, regular monitoring schemes that will tell us uh, whether uh, particular stocks, particular uh, regions are under stress or in danger. And so we think there'll be a lot that comes out of the sense of marine life for environmental monitoring. We hope that the, the continuing discovery of new forms of life, new and beautiful forms of life, will, will, will please and excite people and help them to treasure it. Treasure it. Treasure it.